Arnhem Land elder and Yothu Yindi lead singer Mr Yunipingu has been farewelled at an emotional state memorial, state memorial in Gokula. The 1992 Australian of the Year has been remembered as connecting the Indigenous and non-Indigenous worlds. Sky News Indigenous Affairs reporter Dan Borsha was at the ceremony and a warning for Indigenous viewers, the following story shows images and makes reference to a deceased person. Elder, lawman, rock star, educator and dad. Mr Unipingu was remembered as a giant, an extraordinary man who chased his dreams. Catch the rainbow, our mother's clan, before it fades away. Catch the beauty before it fades away. Let us hold each other's hands march together and raise one flag. The state memorial, politics and community stopping to pay their respects. The Prime Minister, a special guest, all hearing of Mr Unipingu's legacy. To remember, treasure and ensure that what we were taught by Dr Unipingu endures for all time. The nation told legacy only has meaning if it's acted upon. Legacy can only go that far. But there is a responsibility for us, those who are li living now, right now, to be able to take that legacy forward and run with it, rather than stop again just remembering what ha what's gone wrong or what, what, had, what had happened. Traditional bungal dance blending ancient stories with the contemporary. Yotha Yindu's quarter century music career setting the foundation for modern reconciliation. They were much more than a band. They were a physical philosophy. Mr Unipingu's daughters paying their tributes through dance to a blend of his biggest hits. His wife Yalme sharing her story. Yuthi Yindi grew up to be a much bigger band and before, the long, before too long they were world famous. On stages there was always didgeridoo players blowing to the north, south, east and west, spreading his messages of young strength and cultural survival. Mr Unipingu has been remembered as a man who bridged the divide between Indigenous and non-Indigenous Australia. He used his fame and popularity for causes he believed in around health, education and reconciliation. Mr Unipingu's cultural funerals will begin now and they could go for months. Dan Borsha, Sky News, Golkala.